Hello folks. You know when I bought this RC airship from Common Sense RC along with the iPhone helicopter and the Y6 coaxial tricopter, I had an idea trying this when I saw it. I have a couple of flying balls and you know I, they're, they're great but uh, the only problem is for me still is telling the front you know everything that I have anymore it's hard to tell with my eyes failing. Well this flying airship is no problem to see as you will see. So before I show you how I hooked it up to my mothership and drop it, here's a bit about the airship. And as before, uh, Common Sense has graciously offered you guys a 10% discount. Just put Night Flyer 1 in the product discount box and you'll get a discount of 10%. That's a nice offer. Okay, just like I always do, I gotta remove this spring. On top of the transmitter you'll find knobs. On the left side top is rear and forward and on the right side top is left and right. amazingly smooth. Okay, to get mine to balance right, and uh, what you did, just a little piece of clay on here, and it worked really, it works really perfect. Watch. Oh, this is pretty cool. <laughs> that is cool. Okay folks, here's the plan. What I've done is I've taken a separate 2.4 gigahertz receiver, radio, and servo and attached the release to my GoPro camera case so you can see the drop from above. Well the plan in order to do this myself is to set the airship's radial throttle to hover at about half throttle. Then I will carry it up using my AeroSky 550 hex rotored mothership. The airship motors are going to be off during takeoff being that I've put the transmitter out of range of it. So once I'm over the transmitter, I'm going to drop the airship and hopefully when it reaches the range of the IR transmitter on the way down, it's going to turn on, fly around, hover, or crash. So that's the plan. <laughs> what could go wrong?
Ha <laughs> ha the blimp landed perfectly. Dropping now. I really like this little airship and I'm really nothing bad to say about it except that it won't work in the sun whatsoever. And uh, it's best balanced laterally as well as horizontally with some clay, especially if your trim knobs don't fully compensate. Otherwise, this is a great little machine and it's a lot of fun. It can bump into the walls and still be okay. I like it.